Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Reading Vegan Hate Comments. Now, this one here is going to be directed towards a video that I, I uploaded on my Facebook page. If you're not on my Facebook page, check it out, it's Joey Carbstrong. Now this video was, I was at a Melbourne uh, gas chamber called Di Diamond Valley Pork. This was one of the first um, gas chambers where the activists got the footage from inside the gas chambers. So it's a very uh, horrible place and not very nice to be out the front of. Now, of course there's going to be an array of interesting comments. This video reached uh, nearly 700,000 people in a couple of days. Okay, the first comment is, this is why Muslims pray and bless the animal before we sacrifice them to eat it. So it doesn't just feel pain, but also to fulfill the stomachs that are in need and don't have food, we bless them as well. This man here seems to think, I mean, this, this probably isn't his own thought. This didn't come from his own mind. He's been indoctrinated into this um, way of thinking, this religious way of thinking where praying over an animal before you kill them exonerates you from the crime of killing the animal, taking the animal's life. I also wonder, would, would that still apply if I was to, you know, kill his pet dog, but I prayed first and then ate the dog afterwards? I wonder if that would still apply. Would that still apply if I were to kill a human being, prayed first, killed the human being, would that exonerate me from the crime? To fulfill the stomachs that are in need. Now, the thing is, this man looks like he's from an affluent Western country, maybe. Even if he's not, third world countries, you still have access to grains easier than animals. The reason uh, there's starving children in these places is because the grain is being fed to the animals. 50% of the US's grain is fed to livestock. The reason there are actually hungry stomachs is because of animal agriculture, for starters. I don't, I'm not sure why this animal sacrifice loophole are in these religious books. I don't know who put that in there, or what time they were put in there, but if you are a Muslim, um, I want you to think of this. It is written 192 times in the Quran that God is merciful and compassionate. Okay, merciful means to show mercy. Now, if you can watch that video of those pigs screaming in there, okay, and don't have it in your heart to show them mercy, it is a sin to murder God's creation. I mean, if we followed this man's logic, we could use prayer to justify basically anything. Here's another one. I'm sorry, but this is just life. We have dogs as pets. You can't really have a pig as a pet. And plus, we are humans, and we're at the top of the food chain. So it's only normal for us to eat pigs. Okay, so this is what human beings do. We use speciesism, and culture determines how we treat these certain species. So we have dogs as pets. Okay, who taught you that? Who taught you that we have dogs as pets? Your culture did. Now this is an arbitrary line we've drawn. These animals are our pets, these are not. You can't really have a pig as a pet. You can't really have a pig as a pet. You don't think pigs have the capacity to be a companion? Because I could show you so much evidence that they are just as or more intelligent than dogs. Uh, they're happy, they're playful, they love their families, they want to hang out and play. Very playful animals, pigs. Amazing to, to have as a companion. Now, I don't know if you've ever visited an animal sanctuary and met any pigs, but I think you should. We are at the top of the food chain. I'll throw you in the ocean with some apex predator sharks and see how top of the food chain you really are, my friend. I'll throw you in the jungle with a lion, a real carnivore, and see how top of the food chain you are, my friend. These distinctions we make between animals, pigs are food, dogs are friends, They're, they merely are determined by culture and programming and there's no moral difference between a dog and a pig. Just what humans seem to have uh, selected over time. Now in China, uh, some other places, they eat dogs. Bali, they eat dogs. Okay, dogs are food there too. Culture is not the same as morality. Here's another one. You are, you are an uneducated idiot. You have obviously never had to care for pigs. Mine are free range and they sound like that. There's a lot of screaming in this video from the pigs screaming from inside. Do the world, do the world a favour and talk about lettuce or something. Do, do, even do a little bit of research on a carrot. But don't talk about something you know absolutely nothing about. Now this man here is a free range pig farmer. Let me tell you something about free range pigs. They all get gas chambered too. There's no difference in the way a free range pig is killed unless they're killing them on the farm with a 
ballpoint hammer or a 22 caliber rifle to their head, stabbing them in the throat, there's no difference to how free range pigs are killed. They're mercilessly slaughtered, lowered down into a gas chamber with all the rest of the factory farm pigs. So just because pigs squeal on your free range farm, I'm very well, very well aware pigs scream. Now the screams that were coming out of there were heightened. They were screaming very loud, very uh, urgently. Okay, and it, they, they, they were traumatized on that truck. I'd seen those pigs before they went into there and they were traumatized on that truck. They didn't even want to take water, they were scared. Okay, you can tell. I know something about compassion, mate. I, I look in these animals' eyes, I open my heart to these animals and that's something you know nothing about, okay? Otherwise you wouldn't be hurting these pigs for your own use, okay? Objectifying them, sending them off to be chopped up into a million pieces so you can get a paycheck. Compassion is something you know nothing about. The amount of I love bacon and my, my tormented animals, listen to this comment, I love bacon and my tormented animals. Now this is me pleading with a police officer in this video, she's nearly crying, hearing the screams of these animals. They are being tormented, I kept saying, they're being tormented. And this guy's saying I love bacon and my tormented animals. Now, the, the type of uh, mindset it takes to say something like that, Maybe he's ridiculing it because he's feeling a bit uncomfortable about it. But either way, to say something that, like that in the face of such horror, it takes a very special mind. It takes a very conditioned person. It takes someone who's a product of a very sick society to say that. If you can listen to the terrified screams of these pigs, okay, and say something so insensitive, like I still love bacon, if you could listen to the yelps of terrified dogs, Okay, screaming, terrified, yelping while they're getting their paws chopped off, skinned alive, boiled alive and, and ready to be eaten. If you can still make a comment like, mmm, dog meat though, yum, I love dog bacon, it's delicious. I wonder if your perception would be different if the animal was different. F***ing vegans, cancer on society. Vegans are a cancer on society. Well, the World Health Organization in 2015, I believe, classified bacon <laughs> as a class one carcinogen, okay? In the same category as plutonium, asbestos, smoking cigarettes. The, the biggest cancer on society is actually eating bacon. So, sorry buddy, wrong on that one again. Okay, there's another one, man, I want me some bacon now. These guys, um, they've obviously heard the screams of the pigs and this is the way they deal with it. This is really the way they deal with it. They don't wanna access that part of their emotion. They don't wanna open up their heart. Their heart, their mind and heart has been closed. So if they open up that part of their heart, it makes them vulnerable, vulnerable to their, their feelings. And, and oh, God forgive if you extended compassion to these pigs, these animals, would you extend compassion to children? If there were children in there screaming, uh, pigs have the same mental capacity as children, okay? Small children, toddlers, in there screaming, screaming for help, okay? Terrified. Would you be like, oh, I want some children bacon now? The, the level of conditioning is so profound that we can hear innocent childlike beings screaming like that for help and say, I still want to eat their tortured, tormented, mutilated, chopped up bodies in a sandwich. This is the society we're living in, a very sick, twisted society. Okay, he just compared slavery to bacon, I'm done. Now, this here, I've had a few comments like this and I've had a few debates. Now, people don't like the fact that I'm saying that these pigs are enslaved, that it's slavery what's happening to these pigs. Now, they're saying I shouldn't compare uh, pigs to human beings, Now, which is not what I'm doing, okay? I said human slavery was once legal, but it was immoral, okay? Animal slavery is legal, but it's still immoral. If it's legal, it doesn't mean it's moral. People are saying that I'm saying that humans are the same as pigs, or I'm somehow saying these beings are the same. No, the injustice is what's the same, and it saddens me that people that come from a history of oppression, black people, Jewish people, you know, who've had atrocities like, human atrocities like the Holocaust, like the Atlantic slave trade, and I'm well aware of how atrocious those humans were treated. Uh, in the slave ships, the conditions were worse than how animals of that time were treated. I'm well aware. They had like a 50% mortality rate on the boats. Women, um, African women, had their stomachs slid open so that uh, children could be ripped out on, on the ground and animals could, could come and eat them. I, I know what happened in the Atlantic slave trade and I know what happened in the, in the Holocaust, but it saddens me and disappoints me that people have, who have gone through this oppression in their history, in their family line, 
cannot see another being suffering and say, that is slavery too. That is oppression too. That is a holocaust too. I think that people that have gone through that should be able to connect more with these beings suffering. Just because it's a pig, a cow, a lamb, a chicken, a fish, they, what they are experiencing, the injustice they are experiencing is the same. I'm not saying they're the same beings. Human beings and animals, yes, they are different, but in every way that matters, we are the same. We suffer the same, okay? We want our families not to be separated. We don't want to be enslaved and objectified and used for our bodies, okay? These pigs are being enslaved, objectified, used for their bodies, tormented. Animals are being murdered by the trillions every year, okay? And I just implore people, especially from these cultures that have been oppressed, to open their heart and open their mind and see that the oppression, the injustice is the same for these animals.